back to booze briefs, eh? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I knew it was coming, too. Yeah. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. Hey. <laughs> and today, we have the Alberta Premium Limited Edition. Oh, you got to sm drink. smack it on the tookus. Rye from Kanakistan. Hey. All right. And it's... Good Lord, I've seen that number there. 66%. It's a lot. That's, uh, that's strong. Hold on, let me unscrew the cap. That is weak. We'll get this out of the way in the beginning. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yes, <laughs> do it. <laughs> you didn't know where I was going with that. No. Also, it is rude to point, so like and subscribe. Me. There you go. <laughs> what? Uh, really like the actual bottle. Yeah. Really despise from here up. Mm -hmm. Screw top. Really? Really? Like... I get it. It's an enclosure that gets the job done, but when you're spending, what is that bottle, like 70 bucks? $70, yeah. You, you want something nicer. It's like screw caps and wine. They're actually a better enclosure than cork, but I don't care. If I'm paying $70 for a bottle of wine, I want a cork. Yeah. There, there's just the, the presentation that's nice behind it. And I want you put that level of care into the bottle, why did you stop 90% of the way up? I want the waiter to leave that cork next to me. Like, I'm going to do something with it at a oh. restaurant. Oh, sir, does this smell like cork? Yes, it does. Ooh, this smells like cork. Yeah. Mm. And it's stained. I like to smell the screw cap. You won't. Next oh. time you go to a restaurant, I'm like, uh, uh, I've done it. <laughs> Let me smell it. I don't know if you know this, man, but I'm a bit of a smart ass. <laughs> uh, so this is a rye. It's 100% Canadian rye. 100% okay. rye. All right. It's good. So they put out a few of them. Mm. This one from ooh, Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible. Okay? okay, Very widely known. Everybody knows him, right? So from 2006 to 2009, this was his whiskey of the, of the year. Really? 2020. Uh, excuse me, his 2021 Whiskey Bible of the year. This got number one. This was his number one. Hey. So I got the one that's 66%. There's another one that's like 66.3% that came out. There's one that's 65.1%. Are they single barrel products or what's the difference between those? Uh, that I don't know. There's not a lot on them. I don't know if that's because it's a .ca. I, I wonder if it's because they just used all their energy finding an HP desk jet printer to do these front labels on. <laughs> exactly. They put it in a nice box, which of course I left at home. So I'm an ass. I'm just surprised you kept the box after you opened it. I got a shelf downstairs. I like okay. to keep the boxes. <laughs> Their website is drinksmart.com. Yeah, and it's not dot, dot .ca, right? So Which, what surprises me is this is 66%, and they, you can get in there. This is, so I, we have a buddy who will drink all the vodka. <laughs> Doesn't drink the brown liquor. Came over to my house. We have a nice fire in the mm -hmm. backyard. And I was like, all right, I got something. It's going to kick you a squaw in the gooch. <laughs> oh, but, <laughs> sold. Please give me a glass of that. But trust me. I was here too, sitting too comfortably. Trust me. You will like it. And so I poured him a little bit. I, man, did I just waste that? <laughs> and he tried it. And he's like, holy shit. That's really good. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know. And we got some really good pictures, which we'll post up. Great. Nose. It's traditional. I, I'm starting to get more of that. Traditional rye. More of what this has, yeah. And... So the other Canadian whiskey that we did was the Noble Rye from Crown. Yep. And, and that was a 16-year-old. Is there any information about how old this is? No. Jesus. No, it was like nothing. Got the Alberta Basic website. I, well, yeah. And you, their website, you really... It just, uh, I'm going to do a little Google on here. You're going to do a little drinksmart.com? Uh, uh, well, now I'm going to go to the Google machine and see if anybody else has it. If my keyboard will work. So, this is exciting video. Hey, you know what? Watching two people use iPads. We're good at that. That's definitely that's definitely right there. Um, so, drinksmart.com. This is, this is Alberta Premium Cask Strength Rye. Let's see what we got. In the meantime, I'm gonna have to sip because do it. Yes. 
That does not burn like I thought it would. No, no, it coats and it holds. Mm. Mm. It just, it's like spackle. It just stays put with the flavor yes. and the thickness and the sweetness. It doesn't have that prickly rye to me. It's more of a subdued... I get a little bit of the prickle on the finish. Just a, a little bit. Maybe on the very end. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. That's good. At 66%, it's sneaky. That is it's very so sneaky. Sneaky. Because I had... We were sitting by the fire, and you know, I got the solo stove rolling. It starts, starts to go like, down a little yeah, easy. And I was like, ah, I poured the first one. And I was like, ah, so I pour another one. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> then the second one was probably right. a little heavy. Yeah, you start to put logs in the fire a little too, a little too far, a little too often. I oh, got six foot flame shooting out of the solo stove. That's a good idea. <laughs> That's good. I was, I'm very so, excited. And this is very different from the noble rye that you mentioned because that noble rye, there's like. Um, apricot or fruit jam kind of thing to that one. This that's, one's that's good. Just like, Canadian. This is just rye. Just straight up. But there's good fruit to it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Bright fruit. Yeah, like I don't know. Some kind of, like a, like a really good apple. Yeah, a pear almost comes to mind for me. Mm-hmm. Is that Christmas. Yeah. See, there's, see, the internet just breaks when you try and get it. It really does. Them. It sucks. Alberta Premium Cask Strength. Hey, there we go. Okay. According to uh, whiskeywash.com, not CA, again, it talks about the World Whiskey of the Year. I uh -huh. can't get rid of their side tab. Um, That's basically all the info I can find. Aged at least five years. This guy says the nose is hot, hot, hot. I don't agree with that. No, I think the nose, the nose is surprisingly not hot. Vehicular. Sons of bitches. Who is, who is it? FedEx. Uh, They're just going to kick your package from their truck all the way to your front door. <laughs> you had aces here. <laughs> yeah. Matt, that's really good. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Yeah, it, it took a little bit to open up in the Glencairn glass, but I am getting some stuff on the nose without having to like dive all the way in like Roxanne. But you, <laughs> you have to do that. Classic, classic Steve Martin comedies here. <laughs> that's what you come to booze briefs for. But you can put... You can... You can dunk it. You can dunk your nose down in there, mm -hmm. and it doesn't kill you, which surprised the absolute hell out of me. Uh, 70 bucks. It's one of the mm. bottles that mm. is behind the counter. It wasn't even on the allocated shelf. They kind yeah. of flooded the market from mm. beginning of January till really like the last couple of weeks. It was really a month that they pushed it. And... Everybody's saying, oh, I was able to get one. I was able to find one. I was just like, where'd you get it? Where'd you get it? Give me a map, you know, and tell me the location. They did a good job of making people feel really special. Yeah, and then you walk in and you're like, oh, crap, there's five on the shelf. And you're like, yeah. ah, shoot, I bought one and I had to scramble <clears> for it. You I've know? texted you two weeks in a row saying they're on the shelf. I know. Not and, on the shelf, but behind the counter. And I'm almost tempted to just pick up another one because I like it that much. It's good. It's great. It's really good. Yeah. It's one that, it, it's, a, it's a 90 plus for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's yeah, so with a little more water, and the nose opens up even more. Yeah, see, I've I've had it on the rocks yeah. more than I mean, neat. Well, also, it's I mean, at sixty six percent, you kind of want something to moderate your pace. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that, and I and then, then it happens, right? Yeah, you're yeah. Like, ah, crap! You wake up next morning, you're like, wow. Yeah, happened with a nice bottle of Michter's for me. <laughs> wake up, two thirds of the bottle's gone. You're like. Crap. <laughs> no wonder I need to leave. Yeah. Oh, man. Six gallons of water would be great right now. Mm. Or a Miller Lite. <laughs> <laughs> eh, you know. you got to keep it going. Mm. That is really good. It's a 92 for me. You son of a bitch, Matt. I was just about to say, like, I was just going to volunteer it. Yeah. That's a 92. That's a 92. That's great. That's one of the few bottles that I don't, I mean, besides the screw cap. That has yeah. absolutely nothing to do with the juice inside. No, the screw tap. I think if it, if it had a good solid cork, like a like even, you know, uh -huh. like this mixer here, if it had or the Woodford, you know, if it had that real cork, yeah, I might even give it another point or two. Yeah, just because I, I think the overall aesthetics of it would be better. Yeah, I'm with you on 92. I think we both gave the Crown Noble Rye a 93. I think so. 93, 94. Because I think I like the main flavor on this better than the crown. I like the depth better on the crown. 
Exactly. I was gonna say like there's there are more flavors that I pick up. Yeah. On the crown, it's more velvety. It's more vanilla. It's more yeah, just deep. Like this, this, this one, does one thing and it does it really, really well. Hard, dry, yes, strong, yes, and but not in an offensive or no. in not in a overpowering way at all. Yeah. Also, that noble rye on the shelf, still, it's sitting. There are three models on the regular shelf at our ABC store. Okay, well, <laughs> tax returns coming up, people. <laughs> so yeah, this is really good. Um, I, I like it. I like the bottle. I like most of the presentation. I think it's damn tasty, and it's absolutely worth seventy bucks in my opinion. Yes, yes. Uh, when I get down, oh, uh, that wind, Santa Maria, the old north wind's coming through here, huh? Hey. <laughs> Caribou are coming. When I get down to the Navis down here, I'll buy another one. Yeah. So in about two, three weeks. Ish. <laughs> we'll see. All we'll right. See. May, you know, may have a hard day at the office. There you Come go. Home. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you are one of the lucky few who have also. No way. <laughs> that was, that was I, a good I gotta shot. I got to show folks how it la <laughs> landed just like that out That's of the tree. perfect. If you're one of the lucky few, so to speak, who have picked up a bottle of Alberta Premium, tell us what you think. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you want to shit on it because of the screw cap? Any of that. Let us know. Don't shit on it. Well, not literally. Oh, okay. Hate on it. So if you're going to do that, give it to us. We'll take care of it. Yeah. Wipe it off first. <laughs> yeah, please. 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 Um, man, I'm yeah. glad I got to share that with you. Yeah. I've, I, been, I've been holding on to it, and I've been trying not to drink it. Yeah. I and, appreciate that. Um, I think we're going to coast back down from the, the 130-plus <laughs> proof and, and try some things that are a little more a little more tame. Yeah. Maybe, a, maybe a Michter small batch, maybe a bullet. Maybe the Old Forester Honey Proof. Whoa. And you know what? Maybe even some tequila. Ooh. Ooh. That might be fun. I think we may need to change the pace up. Yeah. All so right. uh, like, subscribe, tell a friend, follow us on Facebook. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The Facebook. <laughs> yeah, the Facebook. <laughs> Do that. And uh, until then, put something good in your glass. Cheers. Cheers.